Welcome to Lawn Care on the Ravenport map in FS19. Today we will be mowing a few residential lawns with a Kubota compact tractor and a finished cut mower. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2016 Chevy 2500 Duramax. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing some lawn care. I've only done a few videos with a lawn care company and it's nice to be back here especially using the brand new 2018 Kubota compact tractor with the finished cup mower attachment. We will also be using our 2016 Chevy Duramax, our daily driver for towing the utility trailer and the mower. I usually use the work trucks, but this is also a work truck, not only a daily driver, so we'll put it to work. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and I hope yours is too. Both residential properties are very big but we should have no problem. The mower attachment is a 72 inch mower deck. It's a pretty big one and we should be able to do both in a pretty reasonable amount of time. Like I touched by, I don't usually use the uh, daily driver here, but I thought why not do it especially, uh, we have this brand new tractor. I have featured this Kubota compact tractor in a few videos. I am working on it. It's currently in beta and there are a few different versions. There will be this one, there will be another one with turf tires and a mower deck. And then the last version will be a loader and the backhoe. So three different versions here of this. And this will be released at the same time as the John Deere Kubota tractor. So two uh, epic mods will be released at the same time. The Kubota will have quite a lot of versions as well. Now this is a brush mower but we've changed out the blades on them for finished blades and we should have no problem with this and we do need a little bit of momentum uh, since the mower does scrape on the uh, ramp there but no problem loading it up and we could actually only go to there because uh, you guys can see it doesn't lift it up high and that is one thing I am working on now a big feature about this trailer is that we could actually control how far we bring the ram so we won't go all the way up because the mower is a little bit uh, close there. And we'll lock it up. I really do like this landscape shop so far and yes for now lawn care will be included in the landscape company until we get uh, zero turns and push mowers things like that and I can't wait for those to be converted over. For today's video, I found a modded version of the Ravenport map and I made a few edits to have mobile grass. And the first property is right over here to our right. You guys can see it's a pretty big uh, house, so there's quite a lot of mowing. We'll park in the driveways for now to prevent any traffic problems. I do recommend you guys follow me over on Instagram. I actually did reveal this a few days early for all those people over there. And you guys give me great feedback as well. We'll get this mowing and I'm very excited to put this to work. I really do like lawn care. My channel originally started posting mowing videos back in FS15, uh, so I really do like it a lot, and I can't wait to do it here in uh, FS19. There's a, a light pole there. We have to be very careful as well. But like I have touched upon, there's not too many areas really on the Ravenport map where there's really good grass, or there's like objects around it, so I decided to edit the map and have really nice green grass and a uh, came out very nice, I will have to say. I'm very excited here for the compact tractor release. It will more than likely be around the summertime. This thing looks amazing, and this is in beta. Both are being based off real uh, listic and real life uh, Kubota tractor models. 
And I did edit the slope to make it not as bad because this is a pretty steep slope, I will have to say, especially for a tractor of this size. We have to be pretty careful. I do like the new grass textures here in the game as, as well as like the grass moving as you drive on it. I think that's such a great feature. Pretty steep slope right there and a very steep turn. We will probably have to come back with a weed eater. Now this mower attachment I have converted to FS19 as well. We do have inside the fencing area as well as another area along the side. That's pretty much good on this side. Like I have touched upon, I haven't done too many lawn care videos, only a few here in 19. There's really been a uh, pretty limited mods for lawn care. does have a pretty good turning radius. Compact trackers are very helpful and I can't wait to do so many videos on these and I really put them to work before uh, we release them and especially I do want to test them out and make sure there's no errors. I do use a Xbox controller here in my videos. It helps out with very smooth steering and also great, I will have to say, amazing camera action. We'll mow a little bit over here and we'll get into the uh, yard area from the back. There's a bigger opening and that will be a little bit easier for us. That way we don't have to move the truck. It looks to be a grill in the middle here. That's okay. We'll just have to mow around it. Like I have touched upon, I just decided to edit this map. I really do like the Ravenport map, but I definitely want to kind of move off it to a new map as well. It would be a great thing. Mowing up against this is always a tricky. Mowing up against any fence is tricky. Grass could be going over, anything like that. And pretty tight areas we have to go. Now this tractor model is AO baked and it looks amazing. I cannot wait for the John Deere and this to be uh, working alongside each other in multiplayer. We do have two properties we'll be mowing today as well. The Duramax does look very nice and I thought that it would be a great thing to, to kind of use it, especially since we've used the work truck so many times and even though uh, it is a daily driver for us, it is still a company truck. And the mower deck's kind of caught though, it's not a good thing. I do plan to do lots more lawn care videos back in FS17 as well. It's still an amazing game and I do get lots of comments asking me why I feature both and I just really enjoy uh, both games and we are really just pushing the grill our way. It's working pretty well I will have to say and there's quite a lot of furniture here so we'll have to kind of mow around it. Looks like the customer forgot to move those out of the way for us. We have a little bit here in the back, and that is pretty much it. Now I am currently thinking about building a map here for FS19. I don't really want to convert the Square Farms map. I want it to be a whole new map, new roads, and just a whole new environment. And I think that that will be the best way for us to go about a map. Maybe in the summertime, if you guys would like, I can convert it, but I do have plans to build a new map. You guys can see uh, a recurring problem over the last few videos with the landscaping company is the uh, ramp is not steep enough and the corroded needs a much higher uh, three point lift and I'm currently working on both of those. 
That tractor looks amazing on the back. One of the only Kubota tractors in the game, I will have to say. Where this Duramax is a great truck, and a lot of trucks now are becoming crew cabs. You can work with it through the day and then use it as a personal truck, and that is what I really do like as well. Regular cabs I also do like, and you guys see me use them quite a lot on the channel. They are also amazing trucks, and we are arriving here at the last property of today. And I do recommend you check out the video. We actually built this lawn, and came out very nice. There were a ton of bushes, a ton of dart patches, everything like that. But we came in here and we did an amazing, amazing job. You guys can see it came out pretty nice. I really do wish there was a way to make mobile grass with the uh, in-game landscape feature. That would be very helpful. Going on a pretty dangerous slope there. Not the best thing. Uh, good thing we didn't have any problems though. You really don't want to go on steep slopes with tractors or any machinery. I watch our truck. Overall, the grass looks amazing, we'll have to say. It came out very nice. We put the sod down, and the sod came in very nicely. We probably will not be able to mow this, and let's give it a try. And we are. Wow, that's going to be nice. We do have to watch out for the train. I can't wait to do lawn care videos though with these zero turns. That will be pretty exciting. We don't have the zero turn feature uh, being able to turn around very easily, especially with an attachment on the back. So we will just kind of use this. But like I've touched upon, there will be three versions of this tractor, and that will be a very nice thing. And they are based off real models and the uh, model names and. Uh, Everything will be on the side, as well as the Kubota logo. Those will be things I will be adding, but it, there will be a turf tires and the mower deck only, and then there will be another uh, tractor with uh, the backhoe attachment and the front mower attachment, and then this one, and this is just like a small tractor. And then uh, those are going to be the three, and then the John Deere will have the viable uh, mower deck that is detachable and as well as the front loader. It, but it will not have a backhoe attachment. It's just a bit too small, and I really would prefer a three point on that. But for now, the lawn care company is uh, still with the landscaping company. I think that's a good thing for now to combine them. There's really not much equipment for the lawn care company. Maybe only a few attachments and like a tractor like this. But for now, we'll use these. And once uh, the zero turns come in, we'll probably. Uh, build it, build it as its own company. I hope everyone is having a great time in school, working hard, and then uh, when the uh, vacations do come around, you get to enjoy it and get to relax and really enjoy uh, your time. When we do get some snow, I will be posting some real life uh, snow blowing videos as well. I really do like doing those. Uh, those are a lot of fun as well. And I do have a few more videos coming on in the 2018 Double X. A few more tricky areas to mow. Wow, that's a very bumpy, taking a beating. Now, one thing about uh, this uh, mower deck is uh, you could actually change out the. Uh, blades and that was what I did and that's how it became a finish mower and it works out very nice I will have to say let's get this last little area and then uh, the lawn care uh, little properties are done guys can see it was pretty successful looks like we are going to struggle getting this loaded onto uh, the trailer wow and yeah that's going to be tricky we might not even be able to get it loaded on you guys can see the ramps are in the air yeah we are going to have to move it to the street i will be uh, definitely extending these ramps <laughs> 
big shout out goes out to all of the modders here in the farming simulator community for making awesome mods. I can't wait to see what happens here. Towards the end of FS17, we really got amazing quality mods just like this uh, truck that's now in uh, 19. So I can't wait to see what's going to come. And I have some awesome mod releases coming, some big surprises. I haven't uh, yet shared those new uh, mods, so I can't wait to, to share those. Let's head back to the shop. This truck is one amazing truck. I really do like the first person view as well. It's pretty detailed. One thing I might do is look for stock wheels. Uh, that might be a great thing. I do like these aftermarket fuel wheels and the leveling kit on it. Trucks now come with the uh, back just about, I believe, one to two inches higher than the front. And when you do level it, it looks amazing. And this also has ramps in the back, so if we have like a push mower or even like a BD, we can put it in the back. In the homeowner series, we put an ATV in the back, so it comes in pretty handy, I will have to say, for so many different things. So far the landscaping company has been very busy with so many different types of jobs which is amazing. We started out with a small company and we grew and it is so far very nice and I can't wait for the future, especially the future of the channel. Lots of big things coming in 2019. I say it a lot but it's going to be awesome especially with so many more mod releases and some other big surprises. But you guys can see we made it back over here to the shop. We'll get it unloaded and head back over to the house. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out today's lawn care video using the 2016 Chevy 2500 Dara Max, the Kubota Compact Tractor 2018 model year with the finished cup mower. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more. Yeah.